You will bless uh, the deliberations and decisions of council tonight. Thank you for their service to our community. And Lord, we pray that you will help us by your grace to honor you and to love our neighbor as ourselves so that you may continue to prosper and bring your peace to our community. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you. At this time, we'll open our regular meeting. Will the clerk please call the roll and notes of a quorum? Here. 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 All right, thank you. Um, at this time, there is a change to the agenda, and I'd like to announce that the last item under old business ordinance 18-26 city of Westfield to vacate public ways will be continued to our next meeting. So that's the only change. Otherwise the agenda stands as it is. Um, at this time I'd entertain approval of the minutes from June 11th, 2018. I have a motion by Cindy Spoljerick. Is there second. a second by Steve Hoover? Uh, all those in favor of approving the minutes as stated, please. Oh, is there any discussion, any additions or corrections, please? Hearing none, I entertain a voice vote. All those in favor of approving claims as stated, please signify by saying aye. 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 The minutes. Oh, yes. Claims. I said claims. It was the minutes, yes. So so everybody signify by saying aye that the minutes are approved. Since aye. I've stated. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Same sign. Okay. Moving on to claims. Thank you, Bob. Uh, at this time, I'd entertain a motion to approve claims. Move to approve. Claims. Second. Okay. I have a motion by Dr. Keene and a second by Joe Edwards. Is there any discussion? I have one question. I should have asked before, I'm not sure he was here. Um, we have IT and Public Works, I know, that are using Esri um, for the mapping, I'm guessing. And is there a way for us to get a system-wide thing instead of each, each one paying? I thought we could get like an enterprise rate or something. Um, that is the enterprise rate. We're just splitting it between the two departments. Oh, it's that much? Mm-hmm. That's a uh, enterprise agreement that for Esri Online, and it allows any of the city employees who want to can actually update our da data so we can be live in action. So like our sign guy can be in the field, and when he places a sign, he can actually GPS tag that sign. Or if we have an intern and we want to do a tree inventory, we can give them licensing and they can go out in the field uh, on an iPad and, and update that information. So okay, has the price increased? Lately? No, that's been the same for the past uh, three or four years. So. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, I would, uh, by voice vote, uh, please signify by saying aye if you wish to prove claims as stated. Aye. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Claims are now approved. Thank you. We have no miscellaneous business tonight, and so we'll go into, move into old business. And tonight we have ordinance 1806, Grand Park PUD, uh, with Matt Skelton presenting. It's up for down council adoption tonight. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the council. Uh, before you is the Grand Park PUD proposal. Uh, this includes the real estate that is, uh, comprises the Grand Park Sports Campus. Um, the, uh, this item was last before you on the 14th of May for introduction, had its public hearing on the 4th of June, um, and it received a unanimous favorable recommendation on, uh, on June 18th, uh, and is before you eligible for adoption consideration this evening. There's been no changes whatsoever since this was last before you. Um, I'm happy to respond to any questions if there are any. All right, thank you. Any questions for Matt? Uh, one, one question, Matt. Just to be sure, basically any lot coming through that's under this, again, would still have to submit for a separate PUD for its 
individual use in planning, right? Anything other than the sports campus use would require a PUD amendment, yes. All right. At this time, I'd entertain a motion. Move to approve Ordinance 1806, Grand Park PUD. So the motion before us by Steve Hoover. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second by Bob Horke. Any further discussion? Hearing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 All right. Thank you. Ordinance 1809 is next on our agenda, replacing the Westfield solicitation ordinance. Uh, we had a council introduction June 11th, and it's up for adoption tonight. Uh, Mr. Zager. Yes, sir. I've had no questions, comments, or requests for any additional information. Again, for your uh, memory, this is an ordinance that was put together both by the police department and the clerk's office. Both of them have asked for a more clear and succinct ordinance, one that is in line with the rest of the municipalities within the Hamilton County. This one fits the bill, recommending that you adopt it tonight. All right, thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. All right, I have a motion by Cindy Spolcherik. I'll second. I have a second by Mr. Bob Horke. Any discussion among council members? Hearing and seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 The next item on the agenda is Ordinance 18 15, the Reserve on South PUD. Uh, I understand that Matt Skelton is presenting this to us tonight. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the council. Uh, this item, uh, Reserve on South PUD, is before you this evening uh, for adoption consideration. Uh, this plan uh, contemplates, I think you're all familiar with the site, but it's, uh, it's on South Street, uh, uh, really be between, here, between Union Street and uh, the city services building. Uh, the plan contemplates 13 homes on the property. It was introduced to you on May 14th, public hearing June 4th, and received a unanimous favorable recommendation from the count, or the, I'm sorry, the plan commission on the 18th of June. Uh, there have, were a few uh, minor changes to the PUD as it went, as it went through the process, but, um, but I won't cover them in detail unless there's any questions. Uh, as I said, this item is before you for adoption consideration. The petitioner's representative, Jesse Pullman, is here, uh, not planning to make a presentation, but would uh, be available for questions if there are any. All right. Thank you, Matt. Any questions for the petitioner? Okay. At this time, I'd entertain a motion. I'd uh, move that we adopt uh, Ordinance 18 15, the Reserve on South PUD. I'll second. I have a motion by Joe Edwards and a second by Dr. Keene. Now the reason I moved that is that's my old stomping ground. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go fishing, not in that pond, because it wasn't there, but I passed by that many, many times. And I think we all have, but I never got to fish over there. So is the fishing very good? Well, it should be. I don't know. <laughs> or were you trespassing? Well, I won't, we won't comment on that. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Very good, very good. Um, <laughs> since there are no questions for the Petitioner, and I have a motion. Uh, any further discussion? All right. Hearing none, will the clerk please call poll the council? Yes. 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 All right. Thank you. Um, we have Ordinance 18-18, the Westfield Playhouse, presented by, again, our esteemed Matthew Skelton. Esteemed, yes, thank you. Um, Mr. President, members of the council, uh, before you this evening is the Westfield Playhouse PUD proposal. 
Uh, it's returning to you for your adoption consideration this evening. Uh, it was last before you May 14th, public hearing June 4th, and received a unanimous favorable recommendation from the Plan Commission on the 18th of June. Um, there were uh, no real changes uh, made to the proposal since you've uh, seen it last. The, uh, there were some questions at the Plan Commission level regarding uh, parking for the facility, and, and that's, that issue's been more than addressed to the city's satisfaction. Um, and I think there's documentation in your materials that address that item specifically. If there's any questions about that, the petitioner is here and happy to respond, I'm sure. Uh, the, uh, as I said, this is before you for adoption consideration, and I believe Tom, Tom Smith is here in the audience uh, if you have any questions. All right, thank you, Matt. Um, any questions for the petitioner? All right, hearing none, I'd entertain a motion, please. Move that we approve Ordinance 18-18 for the Westfield Playhouse PUD. Motion before us. Is there a second? Second. Second by Joe Edwards. Any further discussion among council? Hearing none, will the clerk please roll count? Yes. 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 Well, congratulations, Playhouse. <laughs> We're glad to have you moving down here. It's great to see this happen. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely absolutely all right uh, the next item is ordinance 18-23 adopting a water conservation ordinance uh, mr. Zager will present this it is up for ado adoption tonight yes sir at the last meeting we introduced this ordinance which proposes certain authorities as well as practices for water conservation should the need arise this again is in uh, reflection of what other communities in Hamilton County and surrounding areas are doing in cooperation with the water suppliers. I've had no questions, or comments, or requests for additional information. Right. We do have two representatives from Citizens here tonight. Jeff, do you, would you like to comment? <clears throat> yes, uh, good evening, and thank you for the opportunity to uh, comment on this ordinance. Um, the proposed ordinance that's before you tonight is, um, a, a, or is a modification to the existing water conservation ordinance that's in place in Westfield. The changes are being made to make it be consistent with what um, the ordinance that's in place in Marion County. Now that our two systems are highly uh, interconnected, it's important that we have a consistent drought management plan for, for both communities. So the, the changes that are, that are as part of this ordinance today are to, to create that consistency. Um, once the, the, the ordinance is, is in terms of implementation is when we see certain drought type conditions, it allows us to go to the mayor and make uh, uh, suggestions in terms of implementation of certain parts of the plan that would help us uh, reduce loads in certain conditions to certain degrees. It's kind of a progressive plan. So with that, I would be happy to answer any questions you might have. All right, thank you, Jeff. Any questions for citizens? All right, thank you. thank you. Again, this is not a mandatory compliance, but it is uh, the right thing to do, and it would be it would trigger the mayor to issue a level of warnings, uh, at, and just challenge you to uh, be a good corporate citizen and a good citizen of Westfield uh, in helping conserve in times of drought. But I understand uh, from citizens that they have plenty of water available with the. I trust that the new reservoir is filling up as we speak and uh, will be taken care of well into the future. So thank you for all you do for our community. At this time, I'd entertain, a, oh, is there? Yeah, I'd entertain a motion. So moved. I have a motion by Cindy Spilgerick. Second. Second. All right. Second by Joe Edwards. Any further discussion among council members? There Here. are, uh, you mentioned that this was voluntary, but there are penalties involved. So at some point, it it could become 
you know, if the severity is enough, it could become non-voluntary, it would appear, since there are penalties involved. At, at, at level four, Jeff, would you care to comment on that? Or, or do you want to comment? <laughs> uh, in terms of, yeah, there are certain provisions, and in, in it's a progressive uh, plan that, that moves from a, an advisory level to an alert level to a warning level to an emergency level. And it starts with uh, voluntary co uh, conservation. And uh, we typically see the community respond to that in a positive way. But the, the, when you get to the alert level, this would be, say, a restriction in water use um, in terms of lawn irrigation to no more than two days in, in, a, in a week. And noncompliance with that provision would be subject to a, uh, a $20 penalty, I believe, for the first offense and then $40 for the second offense. Our experience in Marion County when we implemented the ordinance uh, in 2012 was that there was broad compliance uh, violations and, and fines were I think rare, I think there may have been one or two uh, occasions of it. What we found is the community um, understood the sense of responsibility and kind of worked together to restrict water use. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that clarification. Yeah, I just, uh, since you mentioned it was voluntary, I just wanted to make sure it was clear that it was not totally, at, at some points it's voluntary, but it can get to a, a point where it's no longer voluntary. Right. Just a comment. Thank you for clarification, Steve. Appreciate that. Okay, we have a motion before us. Any further discussion or questions? All right. Hearing none, please call the roll. Yeah. Yes. 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 Thank you. And since we have no new business on the agenda uh, at this time, if we have residents who wish to address the council on any items not on the agenda, they may do so this time. I have one card from Sharon Williams. All right, thank you. Hi, I'm Sharon Williams. I live at 807 East State Road 32, Westfield, Indiana. Uh, at Oak Ridge, they have uh, bulldozed down about three or four houses, and in the year 2000, uh, the ditch was dredged into the properties of George Sheets, Sue Iker, and the Caldwells that live next door, okay? So the ditch was already dredged to the nor north of the bridge. Now the way I understand it from the contractor that's doing the building of the coffee shop and the car wash, I guess they've been given a permit to build there by you guys, a big old contract. Okay, but um, that you were going to spend money on a new bridge there. I find that a misuse of tax money. Um, so you're given the permits, so you're misusing my tax money and everybody in the city of Westfield's tax money. Okay, now the other thing of it is I was notified by the supervisor that's in charge of all this building with near the ditch. The DNR, at the DNR, they were... A, um, it was applied by the city of Westfield and the builder who's ever going to do this uh, that was given a permit, mind you, a permit by you guys um, that um, they could uh, do something with the ditch. Now DNR said I had 18 days to respond on this and I did respond. I said I did not like the idea of the city of Westfield uh, taking over the theft of my property. Now that's just like you coming in and bulldozing down the middle of my living room. It's the same as. What they're going to do, and I do have a picture here and I could show you. Who's in charge here? Are you, you Jim Ake? I'm the president of the city okay. council. So that you will know what I'm talking about. I've got the trees that are marked that they're gonna bulldoze and build a road. Now the city of Westfield, is in charge of that, and apparently they're paying for that. They're also installing, now this is not on my property, but it's directly to the north, and they've already dug the big uh, tile to install the porta potties for the um, contract that's already been given to them to build a 
apartments there, right near the railroad, CSX Railroad. Um, now, I don't care really what you do or how you do it, as long as you don't thieve my property, because I don't like that at all. I've already written to the U.S. Department of Justice, the FBI, and uh, Judge Sessions, Attorney General Judge Sessions. I wanted him to investigate this. The last time that this was done, um, the, um, what do I want to say, the claim that you, um, do, eminent domain claim that you guys had made several times, and each time you blamed it on INDOT, that was a big old lie because I got a letter and I showed it to Cindy about they had reversed that. You cannot take people's land. You cannot steal people's land. If you don't know that, I'm not going to tell you. You can't do that. Thank you for your comments. Do you want to see this? And I want this right back. Do you want it back? Yeah. I can look at it after the meeting. Okay, it's fine. All right. Okay. So I've also, oh, one other thing. I've also filed a theft charge with the Sheriff's Department in Hamilton County, and the sergeant that I talked to, it was on May the 9th, was um, N-I-E-S-C-H, -E N-I-E-S-C, or something like that, niece, but that, that's the first time I ever uh, read spelling on with niece being spelled that way. So it's N-I-E-S-C, and I got a copy of that also. All right, thank you very much for your comments. I'll give this back to you after the meeting. Thank you. All right, anybody else would like to, that would like to address council on items not on the agenda may also do so at this time. All right, seeing none, uh, we have a report from the APC, Steve. APC met last Monday evening, we uh, sent a favorable recommendation to, uh, for the reserve on the south, which we acted on this evening. Uh, we also approved the secondary plat and the overall development plan for the reserve on the south pending approval of the PUD. We sent a favorable recommendation for the Westfield Playhouse PUD and the Grand Park PUD, which we acted on previously in this meeting, and that was it. All right, thank you, Steve. Any other council comments? I have, I have one. I'd just like to acknowledge the presence of the acting chamber director who's out in the audience tonight, and just, uh, you know, again, I, I'll use the word acknowledge a second time, the fact that there's other people in this world who fail at retirement too. <laughs> yes, that is true. Uh, that would be Mr. Nick Bierhoff. So we're pleased that you're the interim director of the chamber here, and we wish you the best, and we uh, look forward to working closely with the chamber as we've done in the past. So congratulations, Nick. Your retirement was very short-lived, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, just I, July 4th is coming up. Uh, Grand Park will have a big celebration. Rocks the 4th is always a good time, and it's uh, – it always grows and gets bigger and better every year. So uh, I encourage everybody to attend that wonderful event. Uh, the Colts start here, uh, is that July 25th? And they run through uh, the 18th of August. So you'll have plenty of time out of Grand Park to take your family, enjoy some really great events. And we're fortunate to have them coming here to Westfield. At this time, the mayor is on vacation. Uh, Todd, do you have anything you'd like to uh, uh, share with council or citizens? Uh, the only thing on behalf of the mayor. I spoke to the mayor this evening on the way to the council meeting, and he is uh, representing the city at Washington, D.C. at the invitation of the Federal Highway Transportation Secretary. So uh, while he is on a bit of a respite he is working uh, the next few days uh, representing the city at a national level other than that we're all good all right thank you Tim, can, can I mention two quick things absolutely uh, we have party on the patio the first one of the year is this Wednesday at Italian house I believe five to eight if I'm correct yeah so I just want to get that out and also um, we need volunteers for Colts chant um, so if you can volunteer there's a lot of openings you need 500 
Um, 500 plus. 500 plus. So you, you can do that through Westfield Welcome, I believe. Yes. Is the link to, to do that. So please do if you choose. Thank you. Free train and night, day. Got to get your train. Yes, you do. All right. Uh, there's no other comments at this time, so I would ask for a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Do you have a second by Mr. Hort K. Motion was made by Steve Hoover. All those in favor of adjourning signify by saying aye. 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 We stand adjourned. Thank you, everybody.